uh, Deputy Kinney, you were first to indicate. Yeah, so thanks question, very much. Questions, Deputy. Th thanks, yeah. Um, well, sometimes one question, you know, with a supplementary, <laughs> but I, I, I will be brief. Now, I'm not going to ask the questions that were asked this morning because no. I, don't, I don't want to, to repeat the, the thing again. Okay. I just want to well, thank you for coming into the committee and uh, I, I, I listened uh, to, to your, to your uh, submissions with, with interest. Just a question to Mr. Slattery. I, I, I see that you have a, an extensive experience of firearms and, and uh, you own a collection and that you're an armor. Are you in the Defence Forces or? Uh, you are, you are. So your, your, your use of assault rifles and machine guns will be in the army, not outside the army, yeah? Well, there aren't any licensed assault rifles in this country. Right, okay. So, so they're mentioned here in your, in, in your submission. Yeah. Oh, sorry, yeah. Very yeah, good. Yeah. Okay, Hi, thanks very much. Um, the, the, um, the, the Minister Conroy, um, ju just, um, I'd just like to have an idea of the range of weapons that are guns and that you have uh, on sale in your shops. Um, a couple of years ago, I went on holidays to Prague, and I was surprised by the number of gun shops in Prague and the quantity and the level of guns for sale. Now, maybe Eastern Europe had a different history, but but uh, you know, it, it would always chill you to see some of the weapons for sale. So could you give me an idea of the kind of weapons you have for sale in, in gun shops in Ireland? Yes, sir. I, Sorry, I, Mr. Conroy, before we go on, I, I was taken to task recently by, by somebody who said that we shouldn't use weapon, they're firearms. It's a technical thing, I think. But anyway, um, weapons, I'm told, are, are designed to hurt and kill and used for that. Right. I didn't know yes. either. I should have. I'm not an expert. I'm not am I, but I think okay. we should use the term can, firearms can, instead of weapon. Can, can I interrupt, interrupt for <laughs> Indeed, of course, Mr. Costello. Uh, I'll just point out that a weapon technically is something that is used to commit an assault. Okay. You know, the, the, yeah. so a, a, a golf club could be a weapon. Of course. Yeah. You know. Training then would not be the correct term what to use. Would, well, uh, unless you're talking about playing golf. Right. <laughs> <laughs> okay, with a question for Mr. Conway. Yeah. Sorry, sorry for the problem. In answer to your question, um, it must be noted that in the Irish um, uh, firearms dealing context, um, the types of firearms and sporting firearms they are, um, which would be on offer um, by dealers nationally, would be um, in, in the vernacular context of what applications um, firearms are used for. So the vast majority of firearms um, sold in Ireland would be sporting shotguns and fo following behind that would be sporting rifles and then uh, sporting handguns, sporting pistols. These would not be um, comparable to the type of firearms that you might have uh, witnessed on your travels in Eastern Europe where the purchase of firearms would not have been for sporting reasons. Um, that would be quite important. Yeah, and my final question is, uh, you know, the, the kind of security that you would have in your shops to prevent theft and so uh, Yes, indeed. Um, the, the security um, uh, levels that would surround the, the, the firearms dealer um, would be quite onerous. The physical structure um, would be quite a robust and tough physical structure. Um, without getting into the, the, the semantics of exactly what we need to have, because it really shouldn't be on the public record as such, um, let's just say that nobody could break into a, a currently uh, licensed firearms dealer store without several different tiers of alarm system ringing. And is there a record of thefts or over a number of period of years? Have there been break-ins? Um, there, 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 there have been um, over a period of years a, a number of situations, um, but not physical break-ins per se, but rather um, uh, situations where people were coerced into handing over firearms uh, rather than their physical premises being robbed. Or robberies. Yes, indeed. Okay. Thank you.